How do you sound confident without appearing arrogant? Um, you know, this is this is the hard part from, um, I think it's culturally, we are taught a lot of times, sometimes when we start talking about ourselves, um, it comes across as braggy. But when you're in a job interview and you're talking about benefits, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the right way to put this. Um, I don't know. Confidence means we, we, well, I, th I guess, I guess the difference is, I guess people that are arrogant might not even be able to prove it too. I mean, I think that's why when we talk about benefits, I think features, and then you have the benefits. So you know what you've been able to accomplish, but confidence is showing up and, and knowing what you have to offer. I also come from a place of giving, like, I want to make sure that I can be an asset to the company I'm going to go work for. So I think when I know that I'm coming across as confident, um, I don't know. I just tried so hard not to be arrogant. So I'm not sure I can answer the question, right? <laughs> is anyone else, Ron, do you want to throw in there? Well, one, one thought I have is that you can come across as I, I have gained a lot of knowledge about this, but I, there's, uh, there's still plenty of room for me to learn. Oh, that's true. You communicate things that way that you know, the arrogant person say, I, I'm the know it all. I know it all. Yeah. You come to me and I'll, I'll tell you how it's done. <laughs> so that's a really good point, Ron. Thank you. I was getting stuck on there. Um, I come from, uh, there's a saying that I use, um, and it's actually up on my wall here. It's capital C, capital A, capital N, capital I, and it's constant and never ending improvement. Hmm. And I feel that there, we never get to a point that we know everything. Like you should always be constantly learning. There's always something new and especially in an environment that's constantly changing. I mean, who would have thought we were going to be in a global pandemic in like 2020? Like I, it's just so beyond I me. Mean, recessions, yes, I've been through a couple of them already. Too many to name now. But now here we are in a global pandemic. So pivoting changing, reinventing ourselves. And I think being aware that there's always a way to be better at what we're doing, there's always something else that we could be doing um, and being open to learn. I like that, Ron. I think you're spot on. I think being open to learn and, you know, this is what I bring to the table, um, but I'm also open to learn new things and open to try new things and new ways of doing it. Um, it's interesting because sometimes you hear but I don't usually hear that from people that are interviewing. It's usually people that have been around for a long time. Oh, we've always done it that way and it never works. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but being open to try something new and you know, it might not have worked 10 years ago, but it might work this time because the environment's changed. So being open to change is really important. 